In this video, we will discuss the stroke or cerebrovascular accident. First of all let's understand how our brain works. Our brain contains only 2% of our body's mass. But it consumes about 20% of the oxygen we get. That's because it produces a tremendous amount of electrical impulses at every second, which requires a tremendous amount of energy, which requires a tremendous amount of oxygen, even when we are sleeping. This oxygen is provided by the heart, by pumping enough blood into the brain, by a network. The carotid arteries which supply the front of the brain and vertebral arteries which supply the back form a connection in the brain through multiple small vessels, called the circle of Willis. Blockage in one of arteries of Willis circle leads to deprived oxygen supply to that area due to decrease in blood supply. This causes the brain cells in those areas to die. The symptoms are related to the function of the region in our brain that get impacted during stroke. Like when the speech center in the brain gets affected, there will be irrelevant speech or slurred words which we can barely understand. Or if the cognitive areas in brain get affected there will be disorientation and loss of balance. But what causes stroke in the first place? There are mainly two causes of stroke, first the, a blocked artery causing an, ischemic stroke, or a leaking or bursting of a blood vessel. Hemorrhagic stroke. Some people may have only a temporary disruption of blood flow to the brain, known as transient ischemic attack (TIA). In the ischemic stroke, which accounts for about 87% of the overall stroke population, there will be reduced blood supply to the brain due to blockage or narrowing of brain arteries due to deposition of fatty material inside the vessels, called plaque. Plaque could be a blood clot, an atherosclerotic mass or any material that causes clogging in these arteries. A hemorrhagic stroke occurs when a blood vessel bursts in the brain. Blood builds up and damages surrounding brain tissue. Uncontrolled high blood pressure over treatment with blood thinners, bulges at weak spots in your blood vessel walls, aneurysms, trauma, such as a car accident. Protein deposits in blood vessel walls lead to weakness in the vessel wall and, ischemic stroke leading to hemorrhage. Both types of stroke damage brain cells. Symptoms of that damage start to show in the parts of the body controlled by those brain cells. In the next video we will discuss the stroke in detail. Thanks for watching, do not forget to subscribe and learn more, thank you.